Okay, so as I said, we have the first case scenario here. Our blue part is going to be our main part and we're going to subtract the red part from the blue part. First, you need to know what feature you have to use in order to do the subtraction. That feature, just like merging the parts, another video I uploaded a couple of uh, days back, you have to work with combine. Uh, since you don't have combine in your SOLIDWORKS menu on default, you're going to have to search for it here in search commands. Look, if I click here, you have SOLIDWORKS help commands, files and blah, blah, blah. Set it to commands and search for combine. And then it will show you the combine feature. What I, or the other way around would be going to insert, going to features, and then you will look for it here. Combine. You can do that. Okay. Once you have combine open, set it to subtract. Then you're going to have to define a main body and you're going to have to define, define bodies to subtract. So our main body here, as I said, would be our blue part and bodies to subtract would be the red part. If I click OK, I'm going to right click with the mouse to OK. See what happened. First of all, the appearance, the blue part, gone. Uh, secondly, you have subtracted the red part from the blue part. That was number one. Number two. All right. As I said, number two is the difficult one. Uh, the red part is now within the blue part. You don't believe me? Check this out. Boom. The red part is inside. I just made the blue part. When I say part, I mean solid body. Okay. Okay. That's 12 years of trial and error and nobody taught me I have to call it a solid body. It's a cut solid body. Now the solid body, the red solid body, the, so red, the red body is within the blue body and I just made the blue body see through. Now we want to do the subtraction. SolidWorks, this is what SolidWorks is, okay? You pick the first part and the second part, you cannot even see it. It just picks the first, second part, first part, bam, boom. So what you can do is, you know your main body is the blue one, okay? There are different ways. You can either right click on the part body and click on select other and then pick the red one um, okay if you right click on your body and pick select other it allows you to pick stuff that are either overlaying on top of each other so you can pick the ones in the background and that's one way to do it i just did it or if it's too complicated and you have too many small bodies within your main body and you cannot find it in your select body menu. This is how I would do it, okay? When you're in this page, just press C on the keyboard and if nothing happens right now, I have to check on my shortcut list. You just open this feature over here. You just open this tree and you will find solid bodies too, okay? Solid bodies too, you have two of them. You open that and you pick the red one which is called fillet one from here. There you go. And now you have your main body selected. You have your uh, red body that is going to be subtracted from the main body selected and you can click OK. So if I make the first part see through again, you will see it's not a part. OK, it's a subtraction. You will see that the subtraction has happened. That was the worst cross section plane I've chosen. OK, let's just put it here now you see the third variant i told you there are some cases that the part you're going to subtract from your main part is actually cutting your main part into smaller body solid body solid bodies the body you're going to subtract from your main body is going to partially cut your main body into a smaller prior bodies all right take a look at here do you see this small corner of the blue body if i subtract the red one from the blue one this body island will be counted as a as an extra solid body inside i go to feature and i'll pick combine subtract main body bodies to subtract ready click ok boom what happened hello oh uh, yeah. we are working with two monitors this show up pop-up message went to the other manager. All right, you get bodies to keep. You get this uh, kind of a um, pop-up window. Which body do you want to keep? You want to keep all bodies or you want to select which bodies? Because now 
you are working with two buddies. The red body is gone. The blue body has a mainland and has an island. So if I click on it, I see which one is which. See, this is the mainland. This is the island. Do you see? It gets highlighted in purple lines. Boom, boom, bam, bam. So I will say I want to work with all bodies and click OK. And now you see this is what you get. If you take a look at the solid bodies in the property manager in the left, you will see it is showing two, one, two. There you go. Two. There you go. All right. So that was our beginner tutorial for how to subtract a body in SOLIDWORKS. Every Monday or latest Wednesday, I will be releasing a premium PDF tutorial for both beginners and intermediates on the website. You can see and check the website in the link below, the solidworkstutorials.net. It requires a membership for a very small fee for me to cover the costs of actually keeping it up, putting the website up and, and so on. And stay tuned for the next video. I hope you like this video. I do. I do. Let me know if you like this video, please comment, say me likey or me not likey. Okay, do that. Thank you. See you next week.